Hey everybody, welcome back to Warland Tactical. Hope you guys are well. Hope everyone's doing good. We're on the beach today. Doing some filming. I figured I'd take you guys out the way. So here we are. This is still going to be our Max Edition Wednesday. We're just uh, taking a bit of a break during filming to enjoy this. Well, here's a big wave. You guys want to go through it? What do you think? Alright, I'll take you guys through another couple waves and we'll get back to filming the Max Edition Wednesday with Will and Tabitha. Hopefully it's not too long. These sets have been lingering, but hopefully I can get you a big wave. We'll float it in. Hey guys, how's it going? First, before we get on with the rest of the show, I want to first talk about area transitions. When you're filming and you're going from one climate to the next, one elevation to the next, you want to make sure you're fully kitted. In the prior of this video, I was at the beach. That was 77 degree weather. Now I'm in 95 degree weather at a higher elevation by far. So you want to make sure you're kitted up. You want to make sure you have water. Water is most important. You want to be able to hydrate. I have food in my pack. I have first aid kit gear in my pack as well. Before we hike a bit, as promised, we're going to talk about some expedition stuff. What we're going to talk about is my favorite pouches out of the expedition line. I got a bunch of expedition stuff like this one right here. That's the Janus on my SC6. I'm not showing that one today, but we'll get to this one. Okay guys, let's get into my favorite pouches. What you have in front of you are the Maxpedition Fatty Pouches. This is a wolf gray color and I have two in khaki. Same construction as all their packs and all their pouches are the same construction. Heavy, hard use gear. Mully on the back, pull handles in the front. You have that really strong mesh netting morale patch. Does not come with a patch, so put your pouches on there. So let's see what I got in my Wolf Gray kit. This is a standalone kit, so like if I'm going on adventures like what we are today, I got a flashlight, Sharpie pin in red, eating tool, bit of food, fire starter. There's a Leatherman tool. This is a little pocket sharpener, a ridge line. And here is a foil wind blocker for my pocket stove. And my prepared 4X shelter slash emergency poncho and bib and uh, emergency blanket. I have a pocket first aid kit on me. It's not in the kit, but you can fit it in there. So with the construction of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and open up the one next to it because it has less kit in it. I threw some of my GoPro stuff in here. So here you have it. This is the brand new khaki color fatty pouch. So it has a key fob right here and it has a 550 cord connection right here. Slash pocket. I have extra large glove hands. So you can see it'll clearly fit a lot of gear. And here you have two sets of webbing or elastic loop I'm sorry right here it'll fit a sharpie that's about an inch and a half 
So you have three loops there, one, two, three, four, five, and six smaller loops right there. You have a center loop right here. You can put various items, flashlight, gauze rolls, whatever you want to put in there. Right here, you have a three and a half inch loop, another three and a half inch loop, and two of those inch and a half elastic strips right there. And then you have a zippered closure for items that are loose that maybe you don't want to carry in here and you don't want to lose. You're not going to lose them, but you know, pop your kit open, someone accidentally kicks it, it might kick your gear away, even though these are really strong. But like batteries, I mean, you can probably fit. I think I have a AAA in here for batteries. I mean, again, I've had this one probably eight years and look at the elastic on it. It still holds up. Good job, Maxpedition. I mean, that's what you guys want. You want gear to hold up to the elements and wear and tear. Go ahead and zipper that. So that's my Wolf gear kit and my brand new one, which I haven't loaded out yet. And here we go. This is my meta kit tool kit that I keep in my trauma bag. Tick puller, splint out. I'm not going to go in the content. It's just ridiculous in here. But here you can see all my various tools. As you can see how much stuff you can put in here. It's cram full. Rat tourniquet, more gauze. I got stuff on key fobs, syringe, more gauze, tape, more gauze, gauze, gauze. I'm a gauze guy. I will gauze before I tourniquet. And I got pills, emergency blanket, blood stoppers, cut down Sam splints for fingers and toes. And the sling is to uh, either sling a broken arm or when you're packing the wound, I like to uh, use a sling to tie it off with or a wrap if I have some. I'm in a national park. I just noticed 1984 etched into the rock right there. It's been there a bit. There's all kinds of writing around this. I'm not about defacing uh, national parks at all. But anyways, back to this. So here's your hard use kit, your fatty packs brought to you by Warland Tactical. As promised, this is Wednesday. Stay tuned for next week. We might possibly go over the Janus. We might possibly go over our Maxpedition backpack. Leave in the comments what you want to see, backpack or another pouch. I'm gonna go hike around for a bit. I'm going to pause the video. I'll make a decision if I'm going to end it or show you guys a little bit more of this park. GoPro stop.